Hey there. Welcome to the first lesson of my series on rock drumming. In this video, I'm going to explain how to play a basic rock beat using eighth notes on the kick, snare, and hi-hats. After that, I'll show you how to expand on that idea by creating new patterns for the kick and snare. Before we start, be sure to click the link in the description box below for a free copy of the material I'll be covering in this lesson. Now let's get started. The first step is to play eight even strokes on the hi-hats with your dominant hand. And we're going to count those strokes out loud like this. One and two and three and four and. The next step is to play the snare drum with your other hand on beats two and four. One and two and three and four and. The last step is to play the kick drum on beats one and three. One and two and three and four and. Once you've got that down, see if you can play it several times in a row without stopping. Remember to maintain a steady speed and be sure to keep counting so that you always know which beat you're on. As you start to feel more comfortable, try playing the beat at a faster tempo. One way that you can keep things interesting is by moving your dominant hand from the hi-hats to another part of the drum kit like the crash. The ride. or the floor tom. Now that you can play a basic rock beat, let's expand on that idea and create new beats by adding, subtracting, or moving strokes on the kick and snare. Let's start by adding a kick drum stroke to the and of two. Okay, now move that kick drum from the and of two to the and of three. Now play the kick on both the end of two as well as the end of three. Okay, let's remove the kick drum stroke from beat three. All right, let's go back to the beat we started with, and now we'll add a snare drum stroke to the end of two.
Okay, let's move that snare drum from the end of two to the end of three. Now play the snare on both the end of two as well as the end of three. Lastly, let's move the snare drum on beat four to the end of four. And that concludes my first lesson on rock drumming. Keep in mind that these are just a few basic examples to get you started. Once you've mastered them, Feel free to experiment and come up with your own beats. Thanks for watching. See you next time.